welcome everybody to the Forum at a Glance, a recap of what's happened on the Maker Forums for the week of August 13 to 19. Let's begin with the announcements. Starting with Peyton announcing governance skip in the weekly executive last week for various reasons provided in the post, the executive for August 20th, tomorrow, will contain a bundle of content from both weeks. In addition, he asks the community for feedback concerning the communication of executive cancellations provided by the Gov Alpha Core unit. Next up, MakerMan announces his delegate platform with intentions to help grow MakerDAO into a trillion dollar entity by pushing security, reliability, and transparency of the protocol by looking at the micro and macro lens of things. Then we have Christian Peterson from Real World Finance Core Unit who published an assessment of potential structures for a maker protocol's adoption of real world assets. There's lots of juicy legal information inside, so check that out. Next up, Monkey Irish publishes the Collateral Engineering Services product plan for onboarding collaterals, which includes their product focus, product and collateral priorities, planning concepts, and product planning. We also have Max Glass from Real World Assets Company introduce their company goals and agreements. He also provides a short description of himself. The company concept was initially introduced by Greg DePrisco, where the link to his post can be found in the forum at a glance post. Next up, Alec from Content Production Core Unit published DAI on different networks number six, which provides the community an overview of DAI circulating on non-ETH blockchains, layer two rollups, and various bridges. First time poster, Boyche from ETH for No is asking the community for some funding to help with his expenses for their Ethereum focused con in Czech Republic. Their goal is to address new users and provide education through informational talks and networking. And finally, Ace was the first to let us know when Dai Outstanding blew through the six billion death mark. Awesome. Jumping into active discussions, Matthew Rabinowitz speaks to the community stating that 6S has fulfilled all of its requirements and is re requesting to raise their debt ceiling to the proposed 15 million along with an initial stability fee of 3%. We have Lucas who seeks community feedback and comments on his update for progress by Centrifuge and their priorities going forward. Next up, Primos from the Risk Core Unit presents the first adjustment proposal along with some analysis for decreasing liquidation ratios for various fault types. The Risk Core Unit team decided to skip the signal poll for these changes due to a lack of objections during their initial post. There are two discussions from last week that are still going strong and fairly active, which are the institution and long-term vaults proposal by Derek and the Protocol Engineering Core Unit, as well as the fixed rate vault proposal by Vamsi from Deco Protocol. There was only one sing signal request this week where Sam suggests following DYDX and permanently removing flashment fees to help improve both arbitrage for DAI and front end user experience. This comes with a risk of potential lost revenue, but DYDX has shown its liquidity pool increased almost tenfold, which is large enough to cover most use cases. If you're looking for more information on the forum at a glance, you could, look, you could go on the Maker Forum post where it includes the three-point summary, ongoing initiatives, and help wanted. Maker down.